That time of day when the tired Mountie sits down to dinner and gets his just desserts. And just what does the tired Mountie do after dinner? Well, if he's anything like Dudley Do-Right, champion of the oppressed and all-around goody two-shoes, he goes for a swim in the river. Last one in is a rotten egg! Which is just what he had eaten for dinner. The rest of his fellow Mounties remained in the dining hall, however. For you see, this was the middle of winter, and the river was anything but swimmable. By the time they got him out, Dudley's warm outlook on life had cooled considerably. That ice is certainly thick. So is your head, Dudley. The vision of loveliness administering first aid to our hero is the haunting and ever popular Nell Fenwick. She and Dudley have been engaged for 22 years. You need someone to take care of you. I have my horse. You need a woman. What is a woman? I am a woman, Dudley, and I have decided to let you marry me. Ten minutes later, they stood before the preacher. And if there is anyone present who objects to this union, let him speak now. The gentleman about to object is Dudley's lifelong enemy, the malevolent Snidely Whiplash. I don't know what it means, but I object. Whiplash, you cur, so you would ruin my wedding, eh? As a starter, yes. Dudley picked up the thing nearest to him, which happened to be Nell, and threw it. Aha! I have her, and you shall never get her back. Or any other part of her. Quick, do right. Give chase. What? And miss all this swell food? Far above Cayuga's waters, that snidely whiplash's sawmill, scene of many a tragedy. Why are you doing this, you devil? Because, Miss Fenwick, beneath this black exterior, there lies a mustard plaster. And over the mustard plaster, there hangs an asafetida bag. On it, imprinted in pica, are the words, Whippy loves Nelly. What I'm trying to say is, I love you. Well, let's say I like you a lot. But I despise you. You won't be mine? Never. Well, if I can't have you, neither can do right. He tied Nell to a log, pulled a lever, and started her on her way to the teeth of a giant saw. Fortunately, the conveyor belt was in need of oiling, and the trip was a slow one. I must get word to Dudley. Nell was in luck, for as Whiplash stepped out of the back door, a mailman stepped through the front. One of them new weight-reducing machines, ma'am? Quick, sir, are you en route to the Mountie Post? No, but I'm a-going there. Taking a pencil, she scrawled the word help on a sheet of paper, stuffed it into an envelope, addressed the envelope to Dudley Do-Right, then fainted from the exertion. Two days later at the post, Nell's father, Inspector Fenwick, chatted with our hero. I haven't seen Nell lately. Come to think of it, I haven't either. Perhaps she's visiting a sister. Does she have a sister? No, but Nell's a strange girl. At that moment... I, I ran all the way from Whiplash's sawmill. I have an urgent letter for Constable Do-Right. It's from Nell. I'd know her penmanship anywhere. Yes, it's from Nell, all right. Well, aren't you going to open it? That would be against the law, sir. You see, there isn't a stamp on the envelope. And there you have the reason why Dudley rode to the sawmill, dashed inside when Nell was still on her way to the saw, talked her into sticking a stamp on the envelope, dashed outside the sawmill, rode all the way back to the post and said to the inspector... <laughs> it's from Nell, sir. She needs help. Well, stand there, do right. Don't just do something. It took them an hour and a half to straighten out that last line, but eventually Dudley was on his way to the rescue. Would he make it in time? Oh, save me, save me! Somebody save me! Don't go all to pieces, Nell. Wait about five seconds. It looked like Nell Fenwick's wick was about to be extinguished when... The jig is up, Whiplash! Dudley, the saw! Pull the lever! He pulled the lever all right, but the one that said free wheeling. The saw rotated madly, broke free of its moorings, and ate its way around the mill. I created a Frankenstein! Within five minutes, the sawmill had been reduced to sawdust. As for Whiplash, he was last seen heading in the general direction of downtown Toronto, closely followed by the saw. Oh, Dudley! 
Bradley, my hero. Nell, my heroine. At approximately 11.10 the following morning, every available Mountie gathered on the post-parade grounds. Constable Do-Right was to receive the Canadian Pretty Good Conduct Medal. Uh, before I pin this on you, Do-Right, when are you and my daughter going to be married? Oh, I'd say in about 10 years, sir, unless she gets out before that for good behavior. You see, I had to arrest her for mail fraud. The stamp she stuck on the envelope? Blue chip, sir. Against all regulations.